Hey everyone, Insanity here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll teach you how to make this rock ship at the back. You can show this to your friends, to your brother, or to your sister, or to your dog, if your dog is playing Minecraft too. Just make sure it's a dog that can actually bark. As you can see, I changed my skin back to my original skin. Actually, I created another skin based off from my original skin. Um... Yeah, so let's start at the leg. Put a block there, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, block there, and here. Then we're gonna put count one, two, three, and do something like this. You gotta, like, you know, like this. <laughs> one, two, three, and like that. One, two, three, and onto the last leg. There we go. Then put a sticky piston and face it downward. Downward, downward. Wait. Then we're gonna go put a block here, 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 and here, and here also on the side of the sticky piston. And we're done for the first part, the legs. Then we're gonna go to the body, this part right here. We're gonna go and put slime blocks like so. Then we're gonna put servers like this facing there. The face is right here and it will face there. Okay. Then another sticky piston facing downward on the slime blocks. And slime block like so and observer again facing there 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 then another sticky piston facing downwards slime blocks like so then observer Facing there, facing there, facing there, and facing there. Then we're gonna go here and put slime blocks like so. Then we're gonna put a sticky piston like this, and a sticky piston like so. Then we're gonna go and. <laughs> I forget. Um, okay. Is that a sticky piece? Slime block, there's slime block right here. Then an observer facing there. And we don't need actually this um an observer here, but I want this to be symmetrical, so we're gonna put an observer right there. And lastly, is to give this one like this. Now we're gonna do the head of the rocket ship. First, we're gonna put slime block like this, a T shape of slime block. Then we're gonna put an observer facing downwards, if you can. Then a block right there. Now we're gonna put a sticky piston facing downwards and facing a sticky piston facing upwards. Then a slime block right like that then an observer facing upward blocks then for the tip we're gonna go like that and like this to the right wall above then we're gonna put blocks right here and here and here and here then we're gonna put we're gonna put we're gonna put an observer facing away from the rocket ship and that's about done i think to test if this is working you're gonna go to this observer right here we're gonna update this we're gonna put a block and break it as fast as we can one two three go okay as you can see it is working nice it is flying to the skies majestically 
Let's go. We're on a rocket ship. Ah! Leave a like if you have created this rocket ship and successfully launched it to Mars. I am 80 subs away from 200, and this Lamas over here just lost its master. So please subscribe. Now I'm gonna explain how all of this works. So we got this flying machine motor over here, which if doesn't work, um, all of the rocket ship doesn't work. So this uh, motor over here is very essential to our rocket ship. So it is like the heart of the rocket ship. Basically, this piston over here will push the slime block and all of the things that is stuck onto the slime block will get pushed upwards also. Meaning this observer right here will get an update and it will give a push to this sticky piston over here. This piston over here gets powered and it will pull up this line of slime blocks over here. So everything that is stuck onto the slime block over here will get pulled up also. But then this observer over here will get updated and it will give a pulse to this piston over here and this piston will get powered meaning it will push up again this slime block over here and it will create a loop like this that's why it is called a motor. But then whenever this sticky piston over here um, pulls up this line of slime blocks over here where these observers is stuck onto. This observers right here will get an update and it will give a pulse to this sticky piston and this sticky piston will pull up its slime block over here. So we have these um, observers over here powering one piston and it is because for symmetry. So now if this piston over here gets powered, it will pull up this slime block over here and everything is stuck onto that slime block will get pulled up also meaning these observers right here will get an update will get an update and it will give a pulse to these pistons over here and again for symmetry that's why we have two, two observers over here then if this pistons gets powered it will pull up these um, slide blocks over here updating these observers and giving pulse to these pistons over here I'm pulling again the slime blocks giving update powering piston pulling up the slime blocks giving updated observers and pulling up these um, powering these pieces over here and pulling up the slime blocks and yeah essentially we have this motor over here that powers the rock ship and every time it pulls up um, everything gets pulled up so if this piston pulls up it will pulls, pull up this piston and this piston will pull up this piston and this piston will pull up this um, set of piston over here and this piston we we'll pull up this piston and this piston will pull up this piston and this piston will pull up the legs and yeah that's how it is done i think that is everything that i can explain for this rock ship so i think this is goodbye Yay!